I have this site plan that I need to subdivide, let's say 8,500 square feet. So if I do this process manually, I'll have to uh, draw a rectangle around these uh, points and checked on my property palette. I start playing with the area till I get my desired 8,500 um, area. So let's try to um, automate that process. So I'm gonna quickly create a um, square using the line command and I'm gonna say 12 inches on each side really quick like so i'm gonna use the block command I call this lazy area it's all up to you and you can call it as you wish so i'm gonna select my base point uh we will need to add constraints to these items so that they are always um parallel to each other uh, i need to use some of these constraints um but I'm gonna also automate this process and I'm gonna use this auto constraint option. So once I click that, I can select all of my lines like so. And once I press enter, you're gonna see that it's smart enough to uh, make these two lines parallel to each other, as well as these other ones. Not only that, but it's also using this perpendicular constraint uh, to have my items ready to go what we can do is start adding some horizontal uh, not constraints but dimensions so i'm going to click and select this horizontal dimensional and i'm going to select this point uh, all the way to this other point like so and place it like so so i'm going to rename it to um kind of keep things organized i'm going to call this w for width and i'm going to do the same but in this case i'm going to use the vertical dimensional to select this point as well as this other point and call this length or l so once i do that um i will need a way to input a area so the way i'm gonna do it is from the ribbon i can click the parameters manager and i will have this parameter manager palette you can see that we have a couple of dimensional constraints uh, l and w the ones that we just created and we're going to create a new uh, user parameter by clicking this option and i'm going to call this area and i'm going to say sf for square foot and I'm going to press enter. This is the option that the user will need to input any area and use a simple formula under the um, length option here. And the formula that I'm going to use is I want the area square foot. I want the area to be divided by the width or W in all of this I want to be multiplied by 144. Why? I'm gonna multiply it by 144 so I can get the square feet. So that's the formula that we'll need. I'm gonna press enter and I'm gonna close and save the block editor to test things out. I'm gonna save the changes. Uh, let's say that I need to subdivide this um, side plan and i'm gonna place it on this corner and let's say i need um, um 8500 square feet you can simply go under the properties and where it says area we can type our area let's say 8500 i'm gonna press enter I'll need to adjust my uh, specific block like so. If you want to double check that this is the correct area, uh, we can draw a rectangle really quick from this point all the way up to here. And we're going to select that polyline and 
you can see that that's also the correct area this is very helpful for any type of job um it can be structural civil architectural and so on so this is just an example but once you implement this technique um you can input any area that you want let's say 5000 press enter and here you go quickly and easily you can constrain areas if you want to streamline your autocad workflows join our lazy professionals and business owners at patreon lazy architecto